After three days of extensive conversations amongst leaders on the African continent, state actors, non-state actors, players from the private sector, the Nairobi Declaration is finally out. Key amongst the reforms being sought by African leaders in this new financial architecture is the introduction of debt post clauses for African countries. Also, the mention of an expert review of the common framework for debt sustainability analysis as witnessed in the case of Ghana before it got staff level approval of its IMF program. Also of important notice is the push to have the introduction of a carbon tax with taxes placed on companies, industries dealing directly in fossil fuel trade. For Kenyan President William Ruto, who read out the declaration, the time is now for the reforms needed to make Africa break free of the shackles of indebtedness. We are therefore determined to have difficult conversations, take hard decisions, and make uncomfortable changes to set international consensus on an Afrocentric and globally inclusive path into an African future. With a new push by African leaders, there are those who raise the concern that this could be an excuse for African leaders to go onto the international capital market and just borrow more for consumption. A position sadly supported by the Christian community of Africa who are demanding transparency in all of the financing of climate action. Your Excellencies, as people of faith, we continue to pray and act rightly for the common good of all while calling for greater transparency in climate finance management. It is greatly going to be beneficial if a mechanism like what was used during the Global Fund to combat HIV, malaria, and TB, the country coordinating mechanism is very important, and if we can institute that. The finally accepted resolution is that this summit will continue after today with African leaders coming to a head to have it organized every two years. Eric Mawina Egbeta, TV3 News, Kenyatta International Convention Center, Nairobi, Kenya.